Hey guys, I apologize for the background noise. One of my neighbors is having some tree work done. But hopefully we can get through this with you guys being able to hear me. I have a shipment of 13, 3,000 uh, aluminum bottles coming in tomorrow. And it's of my personal opinion that every one of you guys should have at least one of these in your kit. The reason being that it's small, uh, you can stick it in your pocket, you can strap it to the stock, you could connect it to a Blackbird Hopper magazine directly. And some of you guys may have seen or may have the, the cutouts with the original stock, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is not a Pro V2 regulator. This is one of the regulators. I'm not going to say where it's from because I used to recommend this seller to uh, everybody because they were the go-to guy within our little, I guess you'd call it click, within our little uh, group. But, uh, yeah, I recommended this guy to tons of people. And it was great for a long time, but then all of a sudden I started getting complaints from my customers about this guy. So I stopped using him and then contacted Ninja and became a Ninja dealer. So, the bottles that I'm getting in have the Pro V2 regulator on them. And it is an adjustable regulator. They're the super high output version. So they'll come with an 1100 PSI output. You can check out this video up here um, for a video on how to adjust them. You can only adjust them down, so you're probably not even going to want to do that. They can be upgraded to different uh, custom regulators. Another reason I went with Ninja is because they do offer regulators that are above standard paintball equipment output. Uh, but 1100 PSI is a pretty good number, and it's it's off the shelf. The other regulators, there's two types. It's called the X-Pressure Regulator, and they'll build them for us up to 3,000 PSI output and 2,000 PSI increments. And they will build the Pro V2 for us uh, up to 1,400 PSI. And... Uh, I want to say something about this. If you guys are shopping around, you're probably not going to see anybody advertising those two. The uh, customized, well, you might see the X pressure regulator in some places, but it's probably going to be 3,000 PSI output. It's meant mainly for um, big bore air gunners to take a refill with them. Uh, certainly, you can get one of those from me if you do have a big bore. Uh, and, but you're probably not going to find the uh, Pro V2 above 1100 PSI online. Uh, that, that's just kind of like one of the deals that they do for us. I will say this, if you're shopping around Ninja products, what you're going to see is the same price. Everybody's got the same price and that's because we have to go with a manufacturer's advertised price. So if you see somebody that's like a few dollars less on something than everybody else, that guy's not playing by the rules. So that means right out of the gate, uh, you're dealing with a shady person and that person is risking their Ninja dealership because any other dealer could say, hey, look at this, the Ninja, and then they get their Ninja card taken away. Uh, so just a couple of things to think about when you're thinking about getting a high pressure air bottle. Uh, for those of you who don't know, high pressure air bottles come in two main types, aluminum and carbon fiber. There's a couple of different types of carbon fiber bottles, just kind of depends on what, uh, one of them's a little bit lighter than the other one, it's obviously more expensive. I'll be happy to walk you through all this stuff if you're um, interested in the getting a carbon fiber bottle or aluminum bottle. The aluminum bottles, uh, they don't build them quite as big. I'm not really sure. I, I saw it. I was looking at it a few days ago. I think they build them up to, I can't remember the cubic inch, but it, they do have a big 90 cubic inch carbon fiber bottle. Uh, 
but the aluminum bottles they only hold 3,000 psi, and the carbon fiber bottles hold 4,500 psi. I really don't mess around with any aluminum bottles other than these 13 3,000s. There's there's something there's one a little bit longer. It's like a 20 something 3,000, but these are generally all I mess with because it's great for hunting where you, you go out you don't want to be toting around a huge bottle and you're not going to need a huge amount of uh, shots to get done what you need to do. Alright guys that's about it for this. I will see y'all later.